first one is the femoral, femoral nerve, second one is supraspinatus. So it comes in with an attack, and I'm going to hit him here, and then go into a takedown. Again, here. Okay. This will actually knock him to the ground. Holding his head so he doesn't bang his head. I can't just kick him here, hit him here. I, he's going to see this. So I'm going to hit him, hit him, hit him. Or hit him, hit him, hit him. Now you can do this with a chop, so you can come down with a chop. So basically, we're doing a James Bond chop. So we're going for the supraspinatus, but with instead of a hit this time, we're going to go for a chop. Okay. So the chop is going to take out his brachial plexus and it take out all this arm. So basically, you can do short work from here. But I need to do something first so I can get the. before I do this. If he moves in a position where it's too far away, then I have to go for something else. This one comes to mind now. We've got the ulnar nerve. His arm's dead. If I hit him on the uh, ulnar nerve here, his arm will go out, and he will not be able to lift his arm. So basically, when I hit this here, his arm's gonna go down. So if his arm is up, I can get here from the side, so I can block him from the side here and then I can hit him in the ulnar nerve here. The feeling you get will be that your arm drops, so you will not even be able to lift your arm up. Okay, it's, it's one of the uh, best ways to completely take somebody out in quadrants. Hit them here, knee them into a dead leg, and it's bang like that. He will be finished as a fighter because his arm will be gone and his leg will be gone. You could you could do it another way. You could you could kick it with a, a roundhouse kick type of thing, and then you could hit him with this. If his arm's slightly more up, I can hit him on the uh, the, on the uh, radial nerve here, and that's going to do the same thing. So we've got the radial nerve or the ulnar nerve at the back. And that's going to take his arm down. I can dead leg him. Either with the foot or with the hand. So, okay. So, I have to make, I have to fight in a position where he's not going to actually work out what I'm going to do. I can go into this, you know, the brachial plexus, we're hitting the, the uh, supraspinatus. I can get it from the front, but I can get the, uh, break or plexus and I can stealth punch and get him this way. So this punch is coming up this way. So it's under his eye line for a start off. I'm not pulling my hand up. I'm not pulling my hand up because if I pull my hand back to hit him, he's gonna raise his hand. So if I just go straight in this way and go straight into the break or plexus, he's, he's not gonna be able to see it. On top of that, I can be doing this and kick him in. He knows what I'm doing, so he's, he's tidy about it. If his leg is slightly, his toes are pointing out slightly more, then I can get him in the femoral nerve in the middle of the leg. And so in slow motion, it's going to be bang at the same time. Almost a simultaneous hit to the femoral nerve and the brachial plexus. Okay? I can take this out and hit him on here. 
I can hit him in the leg and hit him there. Or I can stealth punch and go straight, I can go straight into the, straight into the brachial plexus from the position I'm in. And I can use either hand. So I'm using my hand slightly this way. You've got to change your hands sometimes um, to get, get, to get in between because your fist is quite a, a wide thing. Sometimes you have to make it smaller. Bang! To go in this way. And then you make it faster. This way. Okay? So, and the same here. This way. The, a major point, the middle of the leg, I can press the point, it's up there, it's there, where my thumb is, and the femoral nerve, and it comes out about here, so we're here, middle of the leg, halfway from the hip to the knee, and it's a very small point, it's only about the size of your thumb. As it comes in, I can go in there. And that's your reaction. Give it a rub. Dave? Thanks. So, You see reaction, you don't want them to lose. Really. No, no. So we're going to skin, then we go into sort of muscle. So if it's skin, I can move it down out of the way. If I go into muscle, then it's going to be uh, slightly deeper. Then you'll feel it. But the next stage is going to be organ. So we're going to go right into the, uh, muscle, into the nerve here, and then be pushing that nerve. So. There's a way of hitting with the steam raise that instead of hitting through a thing, you hit into it. So with this one, instead of pushing his arm and going through his arm like this, as if I was aiming past his arm and then hitting the arm, I'm going to put all the energy into that nerve. And you can feel it. It's like I'm not pushing through. And do you feel like you're fighting yourself there? Yeah, it's not like it's going right through, it's going past. I'll do it on this arm. So I'll have to even things up. So basically, I'm not going to hit it so I go through it. I'm going to hit into it. And it's a different feeling altogether, because my arm doesn't go past yours. Mm. Yeah. And then I'll hit the other side. Massage that. that feel better? Okay. Okay, so the first level is skin. So, just skin. Second level is deeper, so we're going past the skin and we're going into muscle, so into muscle. And the same happens with nerves as well, so skin, muscle, and then we're going into deep structure, which is going into uh, nerve. And you can hear the difference. And I'm not gonna hit that again, because it really is hard. Okay, so it's like skin, the muscle, and then organ which I don't like doing to anybody because it is and it's good job he can take it but I'm not going to do the organ one on this because it's too, it's too much, it's very sensitive yeah. so just slightly organ you can see the reaction there okay. thank you
basically a thrust. I stop the thrust, I come past him, behind him, and then I do a fast couple movement. So basically I'm putting the hand behind his knee, I'm going down, I'm pulling down on the hand and up on the knee at the same time, taking him down. At this point here, I can turn him round to take the knife. I deal with this, put this behind him, and this arm comes behind him, 